Hello there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be playing with a fluid writer that I just bought. You can put liquids in it and draw with it. So we'll talk about that and I'll paint a bookmark while we chat. So we are going to be painting today and I'm going to paint in inks instead of watercolors this time. So I wanted to show you what I'll be painting with. This Winsor Newton gold is so beautiful. It's my shiniest gold that I have. And I just bought a couple weeks ago this bottle of J. Herban ink and it's so pretty. The bottle itself is gorgeous, but the color is gorgeous. I love that it has a wax seal on the front. And this is an ink I've showed before on this channel. That is one of the Iroshizuku inks. And I also have some bleach that I'll use with those two inks because they are reactive with bleach. I'll talk about that when we get to it and use the glass pen with the bleach. And now let's talk about that fluid writer. I saw it on somebody's channel. They were using it with a masking solution. So masking fluid goes in this and I thought, oh, I could do lots of other things with it. And started looking around and realized, hey, I could actually put inks in it. You can put paints in it. It has to be thin enough to go through that very, very fine tip. But you fill that little reservoir with whatever the liquid is you want to write with. It comes with this little gizmo. Mine is bent already because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> but that fits through the end. So if you need to clean it out, you can do that. But you don't want to let anything dry in there. Uh, it's a bear to clean it back out. So just just so you know, I'll give you that warning. It did say so on the instructions that you should clean it out. But to put liquid in it, you just use a brush or you could use a dropper to put the liquid in. This gold ink gave me fits in here because the gold ink is thick. And I think when you use thinner things, it's not nearly as much of an issue because I did use some ink in my, my writer, my fluid writer in this video. But um, yeah, I was trying to show you the beautiful gold and on white paper, it doesn't do a whole lot. So I swapped it out. I went and got a piece of black paper so you can see how gorgeous this gold actually is and how fluid the fluid writer writes once you get it started. Now, if it's kind of gummed up, if it's stuck and you need to clean it, you need to fully clean it. I had to do that a couple times. And you also just don't want to let it sit there even for five minutes while you do something else. You just need to rinse it really well right away. If you've got, especially if you've got something goopy in it and run the little tool through it so that it, it just really cleans out that nozzle because you don't want anything to get stuck in there. And once you get this whole thing cleaned up, you're going to put it away. This red cap, I think this is how it goes. The red cap fits on that end. You can put the handle of the little gizmo. I'm sure there's a name for it inside the fluid writer and then put the yellow cap onto that and then it all stays together it looks like a weird bug of some kind but at least all the parts stay together because you could really easily well i could really easily <laughs> lose them in my studio so now i'm going to paint a bookmark and i'm going to use the fluid writer in a couple ways and some other tools just so you can see how that works and this week is doodle week i have a massive doodle, a big doodle coming up on Friday. So that's why I thought I'd do a smaller doodle here. And if you're looking for something to do this week, that would be a great thing to doodle. You can make a card or a postcard or a bookmark or whatever and do some doodling on it. So I have put down some water and then I watered down this J Herbin ink. The first one that I did was like saturated purple because this color is super, super hyper purple. Reminds me of the dioxazine colors that I watercolored with recently that were, you know, so, so, so saturated with purple. So I wanted it to be a little watered down. And then just for kicks, because I have never done this before, I mixed some inks and I put the Iroshizuku in with my J. Herbin, the amethyst, and then just wanted to see how they would blend on the paper. And it was nice and wet, so that worked pretty well. You can always spritz it or something if it's dried too much by the time you apply it. 
And then once it was all dry, I put some of the mix of ink, the blue and the purple, into the fluid writer. Now, I would never put really that into a fountain pen. Like that would be kind of silly to mix up enough to make a batch for your fountain pen. But this way, I can get the fun of coloring with a color that I, I mix by hand and just put a little bit of it into the fluid writer. And it doesn't require having a vast quantity of that color. So it's kind of fun to use that to do the drawing with. Now, it is pretty terrible for trying to show you what it looks like because that big cup is right in front of what is being drawn. So sorry about that. That's a, a little on the unfortunate side. It is a little hard to see around what you're doing. So I found myself with my head turned down so I could see underneath of it where I was drawing. Once that was done, I wanted to add some of the bleach. And I did that with my glass pen. These are really cheap on, on Amazon. You can just get them for, you know, 10 bucks, I think they are. And this, again, you can use this to dip into any kind of random ink things and draw with them because it's just a glass pen. You do have to make enough that you can dip into it though. Whereas this guy, this fluid writer, you could just get a little tiny bit. I only mix that small bit of the purple ink in order to put in into this. I didn't have to mix a bunch of it, but you can also do what I've done here, which is take that gold ink and dip your brush right into the gold ink and then pull some of it in there. Now, if you fill that and then you don't use it all up, you're going to actually lose all that ink. So you'll either rinse it out or wash it down the sink or whatever. I would not really necessarily be real thrilled about putting it back into the bottle because you don't want to contaminate that. But you can just put a small amount, whatever the amount is that you want in it. I just kept drawing until it ran out. <laughs> Because I was doing random doodling anyway, it didn't matter if I ended up getting stuck in the middle of something. So it was just fun to play around with and doodle this. But as I said, don't let thick ink like that dry because that would be a bad thing. Now, one other way I decided to apply ink to this piece of paper, and this is, by the way, Arches uh, Cold Press. I think this is Cold Press today. I just grabbed a brush. And I wanted to use up some of this beautiful purple that I had already mixed up. So I was able to do that just by painting into it with a brush and adding some areas with really strong contrast in them. Because if you know me, you know I love my contrast. And I just wanted something to really make it pop and, and to really push the, the contrast in the whole piece. But I could also put that ink back into the fluid writer. So I had already washed out all that gold and it's ready to receive more of this ink. And when I put it into the area where I had already painted, I got a really nice, rich, darker color. Now it could also be that the thickness of the paint, the inks that I mixed up was different in this round than it was in the first, because it came out much darker, or it could be because I was drawing right over top of where I had just painted. I'm not really positive what caused that, but you can play around with it and see. I was really surprised though that a thin ink didn't just completely run out of the end of the pen. I kind of thought it was going to just pour out if I poured, you know, really thin ink in there and it didn't. There's some kind of science to it, I'm sure, but maybe it's just magic. I don't really need to know. I just need to know that it works as opposed to why. So there you go. Can't wait to try this with some other fluids in it. And I might try that this week. I don't know. Watch on social media and you'll see some other stuff that I create during the week. And on Friday, I am going to be doing something special. And I invite you to come back on Friday. I'm going to be doing a charity auction. All of my doodles this week that are going to be cards, bookmarks, postcards. I don't even know what, what it's going to be yet. All the doodles that I make this week, including the big piece that I'm going to do on Friday are going to be up for auction to raise money for the Ukrainian refugees. And this is the Friday piece. Quick peek at it. I'm excited to try to raise money for a good cause. So please do join me Friday back here and all week on social so you can see what else is going to be in the auction. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys. <music>